Comment ça va, mon ami? Today, we're going to change the oil in our transfer case. This is the Cummins Laramie 2500 diesel. It's a uh, electronic transfer case. It's got the electronic shift. Uh, there's two types, manual, electronic, electronic. Uh, we're going to be using some oil. <laughs> no shit. Uh, we're going to be using some oil. Uh, it's the Mopar Transfer Case Lubricant. La Fiante Pour Pour, whatever. It shouldn't take more than about, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take these two. It should take less than this. It better. Or that parts guy at the dealer is going to catch living hell because it's Friday. And I don't want to have to try to get over there today because I don't have a car. Uh, all we're going to need is a little ratchet, 3 8 Got one of these things. These things are so handy. And, they, and they're very cheap. And they'll screw into just about any thread. You know, uh, your quart threads, they'll screw into your, uh, your lube threads. And they pump great. And they got different height dip tubes for different height containers. Well worth having one or two of these. Shop rags. Uh, this is the pipe thread on this thing. You gotta be careful with pipe threads because it's a tapered thread. I call it a pipe thread. I think the official name is NPT, National Pipe Thread. Uh, you gotta be careful with that as opposed to say, uh, like the, the drain plug on your differentials where it just screws right in and then it bumps up flat and then you torque it. A pipe thread is a tapered thread. So as it screws in, it's expanding as it goes in. And those are the threads that'll crack an aluminum case faced faster than anything else. So we want to be careful. I don't, I don't do torque with pipe threads. I don't use a torque wrench. Uh, and I also put a little Teflon on it, which uh, will actually make it crack faster if you go too much. But Teflon seals so, so well that you should put a little Teflon. Bottom line, the point is, don't get carried away and crank on that thing and say, oh, the book says 25 foot-pounds, so I'm going to put 25 foot-pounds. Uh, because when, when you put Teflon on it, for one thing, it reduces the amount of torque that it needs. Put any kind of lubricant on it, it reduces the kind of torque, that it, the amount of torque that it needs. So we got two quarts, we got some shop rags, got my air compressor. Air compressor is one of those things that you don't know you need till you have one. You know, it's like, what did I do with, without an air compressor all my life? Now, I'm, this, I've been having this thing since early 80s and uh, but it, it, it's, it's like that you know it's like how do I do it out it and then I got a shoe I got some lint free rags of course and uh, we've got some uh, a pan over here and uh, just a pan to, uh, to catch the oil it's only gonna be two quarts or less so let's go ahead and set up and do that okay one thing I failed to mention, guys, is I got this plate right here, this brace that goes across from here to here. Here's your transfer case right here. Your fill hole is right, right up here. Your drain hole is down here, though. And it's right, right under this. So what we're going to do is just, there's four bolts here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these off real quick where we can see things a lot better and, uh, we won't have that oil dripping all through here and the holes and making a big mess and everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. And I think it'll make it a lot easier and a lot easier to see also. What we'll do is take the top filler plug off first. Just like I said, both of these are pipe threads. Now you can see right here that if you started cranking on this, there's not a whole lot of aluminum between 
here and the actual thread itself. So you gotta be really careful. E even if there is a lot of aluminum, you gotta be careful. There it is. Looks just like transmission oil to me. Can you see it? Hope so. I think you can. Let me uh, wipe my hand off with this lint-free rag. But I'm calling this my 30,000 mile interval uh, check. What I'm going to do is take these plugs and I'm going to go take this Teflon off and uh, while this thing's dripping and uh, get them prepped up for going back on and then we'll let this drip as long as we can stand it and then come back, okay? And of course we'll put that in. Don't want to cross thread it, but it's not easy to cross thread really. See the beauty of a pipe thread, I hate to belabor the pipe thread, but the beauty of it is it starts sealing the minute you screw it in. Uh, most plugs, they've got to go all the way up and shoulder against this surface here before they even seal. Threads don't hold. They just, it, anything that comes through the threads will leak. You've got to, it's really the seal, the rubber seal that's, that's holding. So, you know, that's the beauty of a pipe thread is it's a very dependable thread. The only negative thing about it is, as I said, and you're getting ready to experience it, hope, I mean, or hopefully you're not, but when you tighten it, you want to be careful that you don't go crazy. And you can feel it. I mean, it's, but I tell you, aluminum cracks a lot easier than you'd think. So let's be, especially with Teflon on it. And that's good. That's really good right there. Take the excess Teflon away. Don't ask me why. Oh, look at that beautiful red gold. I just uh, glanced over at the uh, the U-joint there that we have so much fun greasing and I almost had a panic attack. <laughs> well, I tell you what, two quarts. Barely made it. Like I said, wrapping Teflon 101, wrap it in a direction. In other words, when you screw it on, it'd be like wrapping it. It'd be like wrapping more of it. It's for one of the first things I learned when I went to work as a roustabout in 1970, how to wrap Teflon. I actually read the, the side of the carton one time. It had the instructions on it. It said put three layers. Well, I don't know about that, but it doesn't hurt as long as you don't let it work against you by splitting your case or something. It would be probably a little harder to crack the case on, but because it's this is the one you got to watch right here. There's not a whole lot of meat between those threads and that. And you get too rough with that pipe plug, and you're going to wish you'd have never changed this oil. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna wipe this down with my lint-free rag and 
Call that a job. That's perfect. Turned out to be a little messier than I thought, but not bad, I guess. That's going to do it for us. We got it all changed out, prettied up under there and everything. Good for another 30,000 miles. That's a very easy change. Boy, if they'd only put drains on everything. Okay, folks, well, that's going to do it. I think we got, a, got us a pretty nice job here. Uh, no leaks, nice clean fluid, got everything all buttoned up and tight. I appreciate you watching my video and until next time, adios.